friends? Well, I thought I would do a little get to know me because I answer a lot of more personal questions in email form and also in comments. So I thought, you know what, let's just get a video with all this. Number one, is Nene your real name? No, my real name is Nancy, but you can call me either. And in fact, you can call me Shelly in the bar because I may have given you that name. <laughs> Are you really a truck driver or just a plant for Prime? I am really a truck driver. I don't think that I would put this much work into faking it. Would you? How long have you been married? Well, this is my second marriage. So Chris and I have been married a year in October. So a year and a few months. How old are you? Well, I was born in 1970. So I'm coming up on five, oh, I will be 50, January 23rd. Is Jake your only dog? Yes, I rescued Jake. I've had him, actually got Jake before I got my own truck. So I got Jake when I went back to Missouri to upgrade and I actually picked him up from um, a gentleman who put him put him up on Craigslist. I met him in the Walmart parking lot closest to Campus Inn and I took Jake back and I got a pet room and Jake and I have been together since. Do you like winter? No. No. I, I used to like winter. Um, but I, I do not like winter anymore. I do not want to retire up north. Um, what is my favorite winter activity? If I were to be out in it, snowshoeing. I also like snowmobiling, but I haven't done that in a very long time. What is the most difficult thing for you in trucking? Probably being away from my family. What is the most difficult thing about driving the truck? Probably my patience in not moving. Like if I have to sit and be unloaded or sit for a claim or sit waiting on a load, I don't do well with just sitting. What's the most beautiful part of the country that you like to drive in? Well, I like to say that I can find beauty everywhere, even in New Jersey. I like very urban areas where it's um, industrial and old and I like um, the plains, the rolling grains. I love the mountains. Um, I love the Midwest farmland. Even Jake is now a big fan of like the cows and the herds that are out in pasture. He will be at this passenger window staring as long as there's farm life, this guy is looking out the window. So I'd like to think that uh, it's very much like the song, America the Beautiful. I find it everywhere. Do you think this will be your last career or job before you retire? I think so. I, I will not go back to corporate. I've mentioned that before. And I don't know that I want to reinvent myself once again. Trucking it is. Nene, how do you keep your marriage going? Well, I start off in the morning with a call from Chris. I end my evening with a call to Chris. And in in between, we, we make phone calls to each other just to see how we're doing. We will talk about big issues. We communicate regularly throughout the day. Um, we make decisions together and we laugh and we you know show our frustrations about different things in life with each other not at each other and we are each other's best friend we just experience our day with each other are you anywhere else on social media nene in fact i have an insta that's also at Trucker Nene. I'm also in, at Facebook um, under Nancy Brown. And it has...
as parentheses mayonnaise. Sometimes I guess it's a little hard to find, um, but hopefully you can you can uh, track me down there. I'm also available at uh, email at truckernayne at gmail.com. How do we use you as a referral? Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, you just have to use my driver code when you fill out your application with Prime. And they don't call and interview me about you or anything like that. It's not like a reference where they call me to say, is this person a good person? Or can you tell me about their past jobs or professional experience? It's nothing like that. It's just the fact that um, you know a prime driver and you can use my referral code to help you get in. And then there's a kickback to me um, you know, to be fully transparent. Once you meet certain obligations within your training and within your um, tenure with Prime. And this is my driver code. G-O-R-T-N-J. Are there any places that you will not drive to? Uh, not location per se. I mean, not like a state or a city or a region, but there are a very few customers that I have as do not return, meaning I was there once and for whatever reason, I decide I will not return to that customer. Nope. I'll go anywhere once, but if it's bad, I won't go back. Do you have a CB and what is your CB name? I do have a CB. Honestly, I don't use it a lot. Um, I use it when I run into traffic issues or weather issues or something like that. Um, but nobody calls me out by my CB name. If I, I guess if I had one, it would be Trucker Nene or Nene. Um, but I don't use it that frequently where anyone knows me on the CB. Have you ever been harassed while on the road? Y you know, not in a, I, no. Um, but I think it's because I carry my, myself in a certain way. I, um, I purposely wear certain things. So I don't dress provocatively and, and that's just my comfort, my comfort level. Um, I wear, you know, I'll wear an NYPD hat, right? I'll wear a hat that says blessed or a shirt that says blessed. Um, I have a number of other shirts that have sayings on them. And if you saw me, you'd be like, I don't know. It's just, um, I, I don't put myself in those situations to be harassed, if that makes sense. Are you still training? I am not actively training. Um, and in fact, I think in about two months, um, my training certification will lapse uh, because you have to, if you go six months without a student, um, you have to repeat the course. So I don't intend um, this year having any students because I will be home so frequently um, and not for, you know, typical three, four days. They're, they're extended sort of trips while I'm home. So um, I don't think it's fair to the student and nor me. I don't want the added pressure of worrying about another person and their livelihood and getting through training when I am home doing my thing. So I will likely not be training anyone in 2020. How is your mom? It, you know, <laughs> she, she surprises all of us. Actually, no, I shouldn't say that. She is an incredibly strong woman, rarely complains about her, you know, like anything pain wise, health wise, which is sometimes a little scary about um, how, like how we, 
you know, figure out that there's something wrong, but she is doing incredibly well. She's still in an assisted living facility with memory care. Um, she has the start of, well, I don't know if it's the start, but she has, um, dementia and, um, but she is more active in this assisted living facility than she has been in five years. I mean, she participates in the bingo there and she does arts and crafts and she helps, um, you know, snack time. She helps deck decorate the cupcakes that are cooked and she's just really really doing well um you talk about your mom a lot what about your dad um my father passed away in 1996 of cancer so um you know they were they were married up to that point and you know he um he was just taken a little earlier than all of us wanted but he, uh, he has passed. I just want to thank you guys for sticking through the video. I know it is different content than I normally provide, but because these are questions that I get so frequently that I thought perhaps there'd be a greater interest if I put the video out. So if you like this type of video, give me a thumbs up. If you have additional questions, drop them below and who knows, maybe we'll end up doing a number two at some point. All right. Be safe, everyone, and have a great evening.